What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. We are back here with Dyson Sphere Program and check it out dude, this looks pretty sweet. Look at all these buildings and colors and moving things. I I really really like the nighttime view here actually. Like there's a tasteful amount of color um, in the lights for all these buildings and I really like it a lot. So um, today we are going to be continuing to try and get closer to getting titanium and yellow matrices. And thank you guys so much for all of your comments on all my videos for Dyson Sphere Program. I really, really appreciate it. You guys have been super helpful and I just can't say thank you enough really. Uh, it means a lot. Not only that, but the uh, YouTube algorithm loves that, so thank you guys. <laughs> all right. Um, so, moving on, what I was hoping to get done, now, what is happening here, and I just hit J to try and take off, um, like I would in fact. Whoops, uh, let's see, when is Alt, okay, I gotta remember all the controls. Okay, so, what I was gonna say, though, is we are pretty slow here on hydrogen, and so I was hoping that we would, um, get to using, not oil refineries, but... What is it? Uh, oh yeah, oil refinery maybe? Let's double check. Titanium is smelting and has been unlocked. Very nice. Let's see. Um... The data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a massive titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible. Got it. Yep, that is on my radar. Okay, so... We are looking at this recipe here, this x-ray cracking, and this was what I was trying to do originally and wasn't able to get it done, uh, but maybe I can get it done now. So I'm hoping to do, and actually before I, <laughs> hoping to do that recipe, but before I go anywhere, you guys had also mentioned that platform is going to be a um, much bigger commodity than I realized. Where did I, did I not, or did I make it over here? I think I made it over here. Yeah, I made it over here. Let's drop down over here. And you guys said that I should probably do more than, more than I was doing. So we're going to do that. Um, why is this so slow? Not filling up fast enough. Got it. Let's upgrade that. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna just grab this, I think. No! Holy crap. Grab it all. There we go. <laughs> what the frick? Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see if we can start to use that recipe now. Uh, this is gonna be a bit... Uh, I really kind of bootstrapped, or I keep trying to say bootstrap. I've kind of strapped myself on space here, though. Um, in terms of these, I'm gonna need more of these ginormous buildings for making hydrogen and graphite. Yeah. Now the good news is is that. So, here's like what I'm thinking, right? It's possible that I don't get all my calculations exactly correct for this recipe, because it's a little bit complicated. Um, and so, we can always just put all the ex excess stuff based off of a splitter, right? We can put it on to this belt that goes and gets priority burned off. Um, so that's gonna be my goal. Now, this stuff here, making the graphite. Do we actually want this still? We're gonna leave it for the time being. Okay, so what does this take? It takes two hydrogen, makes three hydrogen and a graphite, as well as it, it takes the, the oil, right? So, where the heck are we gonna freaking do this? Maybe we are gonna stop this here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop this, and that is that. Okay. 
think I needed like four buildings doing this, which that's gonna be a lot of power, but that's okay. So we need, not oil extractors, we need four oil refineries. And to do this, how are we gonna do this? Let's, let's break that off there. A little rough here. There's not very much room. I think actually what we can do, maybe, is we can bring... Okay, so we're definitely gonna have a, have the buildings right here, and we're gonna like output all of the stuff that we're, we need to go to science on this side. Okay. But it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that. So we're just going to leave that there. I do need to build three more of those, though. So let's get to that. Uh, oil refinery. And yeah, yeah, I can build three of them. One, two. Oh, let's actually cancel that last one. Let's grab prisms. Two, three. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. All right, so we need to bring our belts down on this side. It's gonna be pretty tight in here, I think. And <laughs> I'm realizing as well that part of what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put a priority splitter back into into this belt because we need to take some of the output from this recipe and reuse it, right? So this makes three, um, but it takes two. So we don't want to send all three to the science. We want actually want to send two of it back into itself to keep populating itself, if that makes sense. So how we're gonna, that's gonna be a little bit complicated, I think, given our, <clears throat> space situation. Now let's... Oh, let's actually do this really quick. We can do our output here. Going like... This is... Oh no! Do I need to go over one more? Yeah, I need to go over one more. <laughs> Dang it. Come on. That stinks. Okay, that's fine. I should have... I, what I should have done is... Uh, I should have tested that beforehand, but... Too late now. Okay. Okay, there we go. This needs to come down here. Oh, dang it, it's going the wrong way. Oh, I can flip the whole path like that, that's nice. Flip whole path. Okay, like, but why aren't these connecting now? Flip the whole path there. That, that, that's a little bit interesting, but it works. Alright, cool. So yeah, we, we need to move this building one over, unfortunately. So we need to move it here. Actually, let's move it here. I think. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then what we can do is we can drag this right around the side, come all the way down here for that, and then same with this one. Boom and boom. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick these up. I'm sorry um, because 
when I do this, I want to copy all the inserter guys. Oh no! Now it's like... Whatever, dude. Whatever. At this point, I'm like... I'm giving up on, on that. Okay, so this has got a filter here. This has got to set the filter to be... Graphite on this one, right? And then this one here needs to be hydrogen. Da, da, da. Okay. And then I can shift copy that. So nice to be able to do that. There we go. Oh, and I didn't set the recipe. Whoopsies. There we go. Now for power. Bing, bang, boom. Very nice. Love to see it. All right, so we're refining that oil a bit now and we're gonna get way more hydrogen out. Let's keep an eye on this. I think that what I will have to do is, like I said, cycle that hydrogen back into itself. Let's just see how the hydrogen levels versus like the graphite levels and everything. But I see a lot more hydrogen coming, which I like to see. Um, and maybe I have to do more of this, refining this like down this way and I can get rid of these pretty easily, I think. Okay, so I see hydrogen backing up, but I see graphite running out. So what that means is we need to have Splitter somewhere. So I think we'll do the splitter right over here. Do I have a splitter? No. Let's make two of them. Okay. Splitter. We're gonna do a splitter right here. It's these things are so big, man. I wish that they were a little bit more in line. But that's fine. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll set the output priority. Output priority. Hold up. Because then we, we're going to need to like go back. So this is... How is this going to work? Left click to... Okay, so that has priority now. Got it. Which is what I want. Okay. And then we're going to go up... Wait, it didn't go up. I want it to be... Come on, dude. Can't I go up? What is going on here? Okay. This is what I want. This is nice that like you can have a belt kind of go along. I guess you, like kind of over the top of another belt. Unfortunately, it can't cross over um, inserters, but that's fine. I, I do like that where you can like kind of stack belts-ish, at least for long bits of transport. Okay, so we're, like I said, we're gonna be doing this and as you can clearly tell, we do need to do this. Um, so we're gonna take our splitter here. Let's dismantle this little bit of belt. We can take our splitter here. And then this. Can go right into there. Nice. The, oops. Uh, let's make sure we have the right thing selected. This can go into here. And then this can go into here. And we'll do input priority here. We, we want input priority coming from the, our regular buildings. So I hope that this makes sense to you guys, what I'm doing here. But this should work. 
I'm hoping. Like this should have a positive, a net positive in input. I just hope that it makes enough graphite. <laughs> I don't actually know that it'll make enough graphite. But we, as you can see, like we are getting, dude, this belt looks so strange. Um, <laughs> but we are getting hydrogen back, which is good. Um, so like we are making an excess of hydrogen, which makes sense. Um, so then we just need to figure out if it's making enough graphite, and if it's not, then we just need to add more buildings, which I think that we do need to add maybe four more buildings. But in order to do that, we need to do more um, power over here. Quickly running out of foundation. Oh my gosh, that, that was all the foundation? Are you joking? That went so fast. Okay, we need a bunch of these. Let's see. I have a bunch of stone bricks, so I just need iron. magnets because clearly we're using a lot of those. Glad that our copper is still keeping up with only three of those machines. Um, so what do we have? Three now? Four? That's a lot. Alright. Dude, I love this flying. It's it, not only does it look cool, but it's also very fast, which is nice. Okay, let's go one, two, three. And we're not even using this coal line now. So we can just get rid of that. Goodbye. And then we can also go right here. One, two. Four. Now we may need to add another belt in here because I don't know if one belt is going to have a high enough throughput for all of these and actually I would highly doubt it. At least a, at least a level one belt. And these things are definitely not producing graphite fast enough. So actually what we can do is we can put a splitter down here. Can I make one? Ah, shoot. Um, let's go grab more iron. I would like to make another splitter. And how are we doing on power? Let's throw all this graphite in there. So, like I was saying, I want to put another splitter in here. Because... And again, I'm sorry I'm using the inventory. I keep I keep doing that. I'm not still not great at using the, the bottom bar. Okay, like I'm saying, or like I was saying though, what we'll do here is we'll do this. We'll do a belt in, belt out. Just like that. And then back here, I have four more of these that I could use. One, two, three, and four. And we are going to use this coal belt responsibly to do, to make more. No! Flip the whole path. Dang it! Flip the whole path. Okay. And then I need to connect these up. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I always do that, don't I? Okay. And then we'll go... We have, we have enough. Like this. And 
then we'll go belts out over here. And that's gonna go in over here to that splitter. Need some of these. Alrighty, that looks good. And then we can fit one of these to power literally that whole section. Maybe. Yes. Looks like we're probably running low on power here. Because we're not making graphite quickly enough. And then we also need to do this down here. that's enough to jumpstart power, all that graphite that was there. And we can burn off all this hydrogen too, that I had in my inventory, and this oil as well. Hopefully that's enough, at least to get us going. What are we at on power now? 33 megawatts, that looks very nice. But yeah, I think that we are going to need more smelters making graphite for all this power. Yep, we need more smelters. Um, so we're gonna need to do another splitter here. Maybe? Can I like go quickly? No. Yeah, my, my one complaint about those is that they are super big and like so they're not very, they don't fit in very nicely. Okay, let's go here. Here to here, here. Oh my God, it doesn't fit. Okay, first blueprint, we're gonna copy this. I was hoping that when it forced the blueprint to be made, that it would like um, get rid of that, like deconstruct it, but that's okay. But hey, that was very nice, quick and painless, and I, maybe I should have done that for building all these other ones over here below. Okay, but now I can, I should be able to paste it again, right? Which is what I want to do. And I can do this. And then with belts here, I can pull this over like so. And then right here, I can pull this over just like that. All right? I do need to make some more arc smelters. I can only make one. What am I missing? Um, hello? Oh, I'm missing circuit boards. Okay. Right click to close this, close this, nice. All right, let's go grab some circuits over here. Dude, this is, things are moving along now. I'm definitely not making enough graphite over here, look at this. 
Definitely need some more of these buildings, which we'll get here. I'll get those momentarily. Um, but we do need to deal with power first, because no way that we can um, power those buildings. Oh shoot, I need iron. <laughs> no way that we can power those buildings with what we had, so power is always going to be a high priority. And should be, I think. Otherwise, you could end up in a situation where you um, run out of power, and that's never good. Okay. Alright, so... These should get going, right? Why are they not going? Oh, I don't have enough of these, do I? Hello. Let's just upgrade them. That'll work. There we go. Alright. And looks like we almost need another miner, honestly. Make another miner. definitely making hopefully enough. Well, it's making a decent amount. It, should, it looks like it could be backing up here shortly. Oh nice, and I like that you can join the belts like that. It doesn't have to be with the splitter necessarily. Which is good. What is this? I'm missing it. Where am I missing this? Hey, new research. Okay. Last but not least, we are going to do some more refineries. This needs prisms, it looks like. You know what's funny is, I was playing uh, Dyson Sphere program, of, like a decent amount, right? And then I went back to Factorio, and I kept trying to pan the camera around like this in Factorio. I was like, what am I doing? Okay. Um, Alright, so I definitely need more of these buildings. We're gonna deconstruct these bad boys here. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna copy this. Let's see. How do I do this? Copy this. There we go. Use now. We're gonna copy it. Shoot, it doesn't fit. Oh, we can put it right here, though. This will fit. Question is how we're going to join those dang belts together, but we'll figure that out. Okay. <laughs> That's always the question, huh? How to get the belts together. Which is a little stinky that that's like my continuous problem. Like the, the belts are, the belts, the whole belt situation is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but such is life. Okay, not oil extractor. I don't wanna make more of those. Why do I keep trying to make oil extractors? Okay. Alright, I need to grab electromagnets. Let's grab these two while we're at it. So I need a bunch of these, I need more steel. Working on platform still. Oh my gosh, 800 platform? Why is there so much in one stack? Okay. What do I need for this now? Not prisms, I need just more electromagnets, I think. Okay. Not what? <laughs> I think actually just a lot of electromagnets. It needs four to make one. So I guess that makes sense. There we go. Alright, that's all four buildings done. 
Now we just need to hook up the belts correctly and we should be operational for business. Um, uh, those splitters! Uh. You know what we're gonna do? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip these two paths. And these belts can come around this way. Actually. Okay, that you know what? That actually works out decently nicely. The only thing that doesn't work out nicely are the, gonna be these um belts coming out here at the end. Like, how am I going to get these somewhere useful? Ah. Uh, oh, but maybe we can do this, actually. Yeah, nice. So this is graphite here. Right. And this hydrogen belt, on the other hand, though, we can... Wait, what the frick is going on here? Oh, we got a with one random raised belt middle of the air. Nice. Okay. So this should be able to come this way. Hm. Uh, I need to join it in somewhere. guys. I, eventually, I promise I will get used to these belts, but at the moment, I am pretty bad. Okay, there we go. So that'll get joined in, and hopefully not back up too much, and hopefully that'll help with graphite. I mean, it definitely will help with graphite. And check it out, we got tons of hydrogen going through the belt now. Love to see that. Um, just not enough graphite being made from it. So we may even need more of these buildings. And why is this one not working? No hydrogen. Oh, it's not powered. That would be why. And we can put one of these back down over here, which like distributes power and makes power. Nice. So let's see. And we're doing okay on power too. Nice, dude. I really, really, really like that. Okay, check it out. Um, now, I don't, again, I don't think we're making quite enough graphite, but we're definitely making more graphite, or more hydrogen than we were before, as you can tell. We have, like, almost way too much hydrogen. Um, and we actually see a little bit of graphite sitting on the belt now, which is good news um, for us. Now, these aren't working full speed by any stretch of the imagination, um, but hopefully, hopefully they will be soon. And then definitely want to be upgrading the mech because nice drone flight speed drive engine 2 and this is what we need to be able to go to the other planet and so this has got maybe about a minute left um, but this is going to be super super important for getting titanium for our yellow matrices which is kind of coming up next right um, so let's see. And these are all working now, which I almost all working close. And actually, this is like backed up. Oh, but eventually, maybe we'll do this actually. I think that's okay. Um, anyways, what I was gonna say is for our yellow matrices, right? We've got the crystals unlocked. Um, or diamonds? Is it diamonds or is it these? No, I think it's diamonds. So we're gonna need, need to do diamonds, but we can use graphite to make those. And actually, let's just go to the texture and look at it. There's our drive engine, by the way. Hold arrow keys with space in flight mode, which will activate sail mode at a certain altitude. Very cool. I'll look at that at some point, but. You have received the ability to sail. Double click the space key to lift off to enter the flight mode and keep pressing the forward direction and space okay. keys in the flight mode. And you will enter the sailing mode when you reach a certain altitude. Okay, got it. Cool. So we'll be able to fly to that other planet in 
the relatively near future, but let's see if we can find this. Again, I think it's right here, structure matrix, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a diamond, and it's, oh, it's these things, but these take titanium, right? Yeah, so we're gonna need to find, I need to figure out how to do the um, organic crystals, um, automate them. Obviously I can get some from trees and bushes and stuff, but obviously you need to automate that. Um, not exactly clear, I think, just yet. I haven't really done too much searching for how to do that. But anyways, we're gonna need to do that. We're gonna need to get titanium, and then we need to get, or we need to start making diamonds for this. But that's not too far off, honestly. Like, diamonds we can do now easily. And then these polymers or whatever, titanium crystals, I should say. Um, these are pretty straightforward, I think. So, like, I don't know. We should we should be, be at this. I, and I'm not trying to, like, just fly through science, you know, and, like, ignore other things. But that's just, like, how I know how to play is focus on the science and then like other things will kind of naturally come along with it as you as you do that, right? So, hope that makes sense. Love to see the mech getting upgraded as well. And yeah, we've got a lot going on. What what building is, like where is this building that is like quote unquote missing? I mean, this, this thing is annoying me. Um, now, let's just really quick before I end the episode here, let's, let's just see. In sailing mode, you can control the mecha, go to different planets, or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation. Hold down the shift key to accelerate, back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the QR keys to hold down the right mouse button, dragging to sideward flight. Whoa! Dude, the camera, the ca the camera uh, angles are a bit weird, but that's really freaking cool. Love it. All right, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so that is gonna be it for today, guys. Um, yeah, very cool. I'm loving the base. It's kind of a disaster in here and belts and stuff. <laughs> but hopefully, you guys can uh, handle that for for now at least. Um, doing my best that's for sure but anyways um thank you guys for joining me today i hope you guys are enjoying the series again huge thank you to you guys for watching commenting helping me out i really appreciate all the tips and tricks and everything you guys have been um you know let me know about really really helps and i do appreciate it so thank you i will see you all next time